Y'all, the seedling overwhelm is getting real. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have to eradicate this situation here. Um, I am dealing with some serious seedling overwhelm. So it's time to begin to evict some of these seedlings to an outside greenhouse. Um, I've had the same little pop-up greenhouse that I purchased years ago from Aldi. Um, I'll try to find a similar model and link it down in the description below for you guys. But it is time that I go on ahead and pop that up because I am legit. <laughs> I got stuff on the flow. I got this over here. I'm running out of space and somebody has to go. So let me give you guys a quick update on all the seedlings, the progress, and then we will get into what we actually need to do today. Okay, so first things first, this is brand new. Um, I showed you guys this light here that I also I picked up from Aldi. Um, it's pretty legit, like I've been liking this little setup so far. Um, but over here I have some beets coming on. I re-sewed, oh this is actually what I re-sewed as far as some brassicas and then I'll also have some kohlrabi in here. I'll give you guys an update on all of these varieties soon. Hopping over here, this is what we are dealing with today. These are the peppers, so these guys need to come out and over here. So we'll handle that today. And you can see I have these beautiful little succulent guys. I have a project that I wanna put together. I'll show you guys that later on. The flowers are looking amazing. I will probably begin to up pot these pretty soon because I want to gift some of these flowers to a friend. I wanna keep as few as possible to myself because honestly, this is a lot of flowers, but look at how stunning these are the moon flowers here and these are the which is a morning glory variety and this is another morning glory variety which is variegated if you guys can see how beautiful the leaves are so those all are looking great the only ones that i did not get germination on are the globe amaranth which i told you guys was extremely old seed but everybody else did really good, including the marshmallow, which was supposed to be cold stratified. I got a few seedlings, you can see. It was a success, whoop whoop, sometimes you just gotta try. And in case I sound stuffy, it's because I am stuffy. Um, I'm slightly under the weather. I was down yesterday, but today I have a little bit more energy, which is why I'm here. Let's get back to the update. All right, next row here, my gladiolas. So this was a project to see, whoa, to see if my saved bulbs would do any good. And a couple of them did, just not all of them. So out of the six that I started, only four or two came up and four were fails, but that's okay because I have more bulbs that I can stick in the place of those. So yeah, those are looking great. Um, these guys I need to prick and up pot really soon. My cilantro has not yet started sprouting here, but then all of my other herbs are looking pretty good. And my eggplant back there, you see, is thriving, but these guys need to be up potted as well, so I'll grab those once I have a free hand. And then more herbs are looking amazing. I did re-sow some of the oregano and summer savory. I don't see anything coming up on those just yet, but you see this guy with his... Oh, parsley. Did I sell more parsley? Good God. All right, the parsley is looking amazing. This is marjoram. The marjoram smells amazing. The chervil is beautiful and is doing great. And the same with the rosemary, looking amazing. And then all of my basils are looking awesome. And my hibiscus is up and happy. However, my ashwagandha, still no germination. I did re-sew again. 
I don't know. I might have just gotten bum seeds because I didn't do good with them last time. I tried to start them up as well. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. Now, all the way down here, <laughs> you guys, I am gun ho on making this like strawberry root situation work out. You can see some of them are hanging on while others are have sprouted, but then like fizzled out. I don't know what happened. What am I doing wrong? Should I go on ahead and put these guys outside? Maybe it's too warm in my house. Let me know what you guys think. Um, these are some Dollar Tree seeds here. This is some lettuce. And then we got some curly kale there and then this was more dollar tree seeds that we sewed together and then my tubers so we still have nothing going on here and then i did not show on camera but the this here is my tomato tray i just did this the other day so no germination just yet and then right here I am actually pre-sprouting some ranunculus that I want to put in the front of my garden. All right, so really fast, let's go over how all these peppers grew. Um, you can see I have some pretty spotty germination in some areas, but weirdly enough, I have seedlings that are still trying to come up. We're going to up pot them the ones that I want to keep and just see how it goes. But all in all, pretty good success. So let's start here with my cayenne. You can see I have one single sprout that looks like it just kind of randomly popped up. I don't know what it took so long or why it took so long, but I am going to up pot this because I would like to have a cayenne pepper, even if it's just one single guy. Um, this next one here is the Sugar Rush Cream. We have one, two, three, four, five. I don't need five, um, so I'll pinch off, like, you know, the smaller guys. Um, I'll probably only keep three of these. So this third one here, which is pretty weak, I'll let go of him as well, or this fourth one. I'll let go of him. Next up, jalapeno. I have one, two, three, four, five here. I'll keep at least three or four of these guys. You can tell they're all like pretty, you know, strong. All except for this one guy, actually. This one that only has these two leaves here i'll go on ahead and pinch that one off but yeah i think i'll keep all four of these you can never have too many jalapenos now this one which i'm so disappointed in because i have no more fish pepper seeds my fish pepper i only have this one single sprout and this sprout has been hanging out for a minute so i don't think that it's going to do too much more so unfortunately, I will either really try to hunt down some fish pepper started plants or I will start seed really, really late. I'll go on ahead and order some more here soon because I know that I want them in my garden. So not unless one of you lovely viewers have some peppers or some pepper seeds that you can let go of, I will highly appreciate it. So the next one here, which I'm extremely disappointed in because this is brand new seed. This was the Chocolate Beauty um you can see there's like one itty bitty little guy that sprung up but i don't think that it's going to do much if it hasn't done anything thus far i don't know it was kind of a dud so the fish peppers the cayenne and the chocolate beauty were the biggest letdowns um now this guy which was a shocker these are the Tabasco. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I did two seeds per cell. And out of the eight, I got seven plants here. So I will make sure to gift some of these peppers to uh, family members or something to make hot sauce. I ain't need that damn many. I don't know. I'm thinking about keeping three of them. I think three would be just enough. All right, next up here, we have some Cali Wonders. 
Now these germinated a little bit later as well. So you can see how much smaller they are in comparison to the others. Um, and all I got four, again, probably put two seeds per hole. Um, this one is itty bitty. So I might, I don't know. I might only end up with two of these guys, but I think that'll be okay because I have a lot of other bells that did pretty good. So I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll keep three of these just to have one singular row. So the Cali Wonder just did okay as far as germination is concerned. Um, the Golden Cali, I have one, two, three of these guys, which is good. So those are all nice sized um i want to do a project this year of pruning and not pruning some of my plants so i'll have three of each type at least um i'll leave one unpruned because i'm just curious to see how it ends up doing in comparison um the next one here we have is the golden marconi the golden marconi looks good except for this one little guy this one guy is like He's like kind of sitting sideways, but we have one, two, three, five of these. So again, I'll probably gift some of these to, probably gift some of these to a friend or a family member, but these look strong. Next, we have the Sweet Banana, which was Dollar Tree Seed. And you can see these kind of germinated a little bit later. They're much smaller in size. And they're not looking particularly strong. They kind of have this like bumpy appearance to the leaves. I don't know that it'll pick up in the camera. But I'm kind of concerned that this won't be a strong plant. But I am going to up pot these anyways. Just because I would like to have some sweet peppers. Sweet bananas. Um, next here are the Shishados. So I think that I did two cells um, that were saved seed and then two new seed. I believe these are the new seed that came up. You can see they are not looking very strong, but I think it was the position of where it was on the tray. I don't know, but we're going to pop both of these joints up. And then finally, we have the wiry wiry weary weary i don't know um just one of these guys came up and this was from the seed that i purchased from garden of queenie All right, so we got all of our peppers potted up, all except, and here goes more. Um, so as for the little baby sprouts, I'm not willing to give up on them yet. So I just put them all in one cell tray here. This is, again, the chocolate beauty, the cayenne, and the fish pepper were the three peppers that I had the absolute worst germination. Um, the fish pepper in the cayenne, I kind of expected because the seed was pretty old. But the chocolate beauty, I was not expecting that. So I'm really hoping that I get something. Otherwise, I will have to contact the company and just let them know, hey, um, this is what's happening. Um, I decided not to save the additional ones. I am just going to add that into my compost. And I am going to water all of these things in with some fish fertilizer, just very, very diluted, just to give them a feed to kind of help out with the transplant shock. But now moving on to eggplants. So I decided to just go with two plants per variety. 
and I went on ahead and went with a bigger pot as well. This is, I want to say like a four inch pot and I only have the two varieties, which if you guys were here for that before, you know, you already know what it is. So this is the snowy eggplant. Two of these kind of like are sitting sideways, but I blame that mostly on their position in under the grow lights. So I'm going to take the two best ones that I see. And this is going to be a little difficult because I just watered. I just watered these guys, but the root system looks absolutely fabulous. And then the Black Beauties, you can see these guys did extremely well as far as germination is concerned. But again, I'm only wanting to take two of these plants. I'm, I'm kind of struggling with the idea of just letting go of the other two, but I will live. Um, I honestly don't need that many eggplants because to be honest, I'm the only one in my family that truly enjoys eggplant. So let me see. I think this guy I will pinch off because look at how tattered those leaves are. And so it's between you guys. I'm going to go with this one because his leaves look pretty dang good. Okay, y'all. So this is what I'm deciding as far as this situation. The strawberries, they're going outside, dagnabbit. And let the best man win. I am going to make sure that I cover these up adequately. I'm thinking about putting like a little plastic tub over top of them to protect them. We'll see how it goes. Um, my flower bulbs here, they can continue to just chill out here because once they start to sprout, then I need to put them under the light. Um, these guys are going to live here. <coughs> <coughs> so my gladiolus here, the, the eight that survived will live here. I think that it'll have to reach a little bit, but it'll be all right. So I think I'm going to um, add the bulbs that I have left over in this soil and we'll see what happens. Um, all of my herbs are here. Um, and then this is like some flowers here. I went on ahead and I bumped my tomato seedlings up here and put them on a heat mat. That way it will aid in the germination and the flowers will remain where they are. But basically who's getting the boot? It's the strawberries. They they half ass in anyway, so they're going to have to move. And then also, I realized I have this extra light. I actually put the extra light there because it's a little bit bigger than what this one is. So it has like a further range, I think. I don't know. So I might end up seeing where else I can set up more lights. I do have these shelves here. I could clear this off and use that additional space. My husband's going to kill me, y'all. <laughs> I know he is like, this shit is getting out of control. I might end up, I don't know, maybe in the future, I'll get one of those like grow tent situations and place it out in my garage. My garage can be heated. Um, we have what it takes to, to warm up the garage if need be. I just didn't want to do that because that also hikes my bill up. I ain't about that life. But um, this is where I'm at with things. I feel really good. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, I added vermiculite over the top of the soil, mostly because I just got a new bag of soil. You can see, don't, don't worry about my floor. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to have gnats or not. The vermiculite is supposed to help like kind of keep that at bay. And I will go on ahead and set up some sticky traps as well. So far, I haven't had any gnat issues. So I'm really happy about that but i just wanted to add that also i did go on ahead and feed these in or water them in using a liquid fertilizer i don't remember whether or not i said something about it but yeah so that's that's what's going on here in case you guys are like whoa what happened all right y'all so i ended up doing the thing i ended up putting this little guy up here because honestly the seedlings that were under that were kind of reaching 
you can see these guys are like leaning that way and then i put that additional light that i had there Ugh, loving this already and then i am still gonna stick the strawberries outside and ask for the gladiolas i don't know yet child but this looks good i feel really good about this situation now i mean what about you guys yeah all right, you guys, now this is going to wrap up this video. I thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Let me know how your seedlings are holding up. What are you doing to add additional space? Do you guys use a like pop-up greenhouse? What creative ways are you guys keeping your seedlings safe outdoors? Um, yeah, I need help because right now it's getting a little crazy. I think we always get to this point. We're four weeks out, four or five weeks, five weeks out, five weeks out. If I can get my little greenhouse set up, I'll be good. But anyways, I thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace.